Hello, what's good guys? It's your boy Olushino here. So it's early Saturday morning around 11 o'clock, dressed up and ready to go to work. But just thought to share this. Uh, Stormzy, one of my favorite artists, just released a studio album titled Heavy is the Head. And I'm so happy you know, talking about this album. I've not listened to all the tracks of the album, but I think I was listening to it while I was trying to dress up for work this morning. And I'm almost late. So just to tell you, a few things I've noticed. I'm on track 12 now. The album has 16 tracks. Some of it to listen to before, some of it I knew. So just sharing with you my first thought, initial thought on the on the album. Hopefully, well, I'm, hopefully I'm still not sure. Maybe I'm going to review, have an in-depth review of the album later on this channel. But let's see how it goes, and then maybe we can do that as time goes on. So as I said, yeah, the album has 16 tracks was released on the 13th of December, that was just a day after the UK elections. Some of the tracks you've heard before, some of the tracks are new. You can, If you can hear that playing just at the background there, that's track 12 titled Wiley Flu. Alright, so starting from the album art, I think it's a nice one. Every is the head, he has this crown on his head, you know. And then with the UK flag just in front of him, carrying that. So is he carrying the UK? Like he's carrying the UK rap culture. And I think this album and then the other albums that have come out this year from UK rap artists, Psycho Drama from Dave, the likes of IH, you know, Skepta and all of that. I think, and this is just my opinion, that the UK is gradually winning the rap culture. So the album has 16, has 16 tracks. There are a few tracks like um, Audacity, which was released, I think, two days before the album. Tracks like Crown, which we've read before. Um... Onis featuring Ed Sheeran and Bonner, but which are also reacted to on this channel at, a, at some point. And then Wiley Flow, Vossy Bop. My niggas, don't, my niggas don't die, we just Vossy Bop. That's Vossy Bop. So about five or six old songs. Mostly, uh, most of these songs are solo songs, but it featured some other artists on some of them. Audacity featuring Eddie One, which I've, I've reacted to. Um, Rainfall featuring Tiana Major. Don't forget to breathe featuring Yeba. One second featuring HER. Pop Boy featuring Hyde, which I like the combo. Only featuring Bonaboy and Ed Sheeran. My song of the month so far. Um, so what do I think about this album? First first listen. I'm on track 13 titled Bronze So Far. I like track one with the signing in. Signing like a general with the trumpet and drums and all of that. Track one is titled Big Michael. So I think it's a nice album so far. Far my favorite is Rachel's Little Brother, without any doubt. That's in track five. So far my favorite track of the album. And overall, I think this is an album where Storms is, is trying to tell the story of my life. It would not have been far from the truth if it named this album Story of My Life. And that's just the reality. And then most of the tracks are, you know, chronicles of his struggles the message is trying to pass across also so if you'd like me to review this album on this channel leave a like down there uh it, whether i'll do that or not depends on how many like i guess i get actually because i've not decided now but if i see you guys want to see it then who am i not to do it also so let me know what you think about this album if you have listened to it already i've not listened to the whole album i've not listened to it in depth it's just you know one track at a time while i was trying to dress up for work but if you want me to review this album in depth, leave a like down there, subscribe, and let me know what you think about the album. My, as I said, my favorite track so far will be Rachel's Little Brother. I love that track, and I'm going to listen to it over and over again. Big Michael is also good. I like the way he's signing on that track. He's signing like a general with the trumpet and the drums, you know, rolling half time. So that's just my first thought my initial thoughts on Stormzy's Every is the Head album let me know what you think about the album and let me know if you like me to review or react to this album on this channel and I'll do that if I get enough likes so like this video share this video leave your comments in the comment section if you're not subscribed to this channel yet do that turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever I put up new videos and also whenever I do the full review of Stormzy Every is the Head album if I'm ever going to do that all right that's my review of that's my in those are my initial thoughts on Stones' Every Is the Head album, second studio album released on the 13th of December 2019. 16 tracks of the album, some old tracks, some new tracks, but overall, nice 
uh, work of art, nice compilation, something you want to listen to. And then I think uh, the UK is trying to take over the rap culture gradually. That's my opinion anyway. Let me know what you think and what are your thoughts on, on, on this. Alright, this is your boy Olishino signing out. Thanks for watching. Bye.